Oprah Winfrey became the first African-American woman featured on the Forbes list of billionaires and has a current net worth of $2.5 billion, which she made all by herself. The media mogul ran a hit talk show for 25 years and successfully turned it into a media and business empire. She also launched her own cable channel, became a best-selling author, delved into movies, influenced Obama's political career, and she is one of the most generous philanthropists with more than $400 million given to charity. Although the road to becoming the most powerful woman on earth is not for the faint-hearted, Oprah has proven anyone can achieve this if you think like her. In this video, you will pick up nine character traits that make Oprah Winfrey the most powerful woman on earth. What may surprise you is that these traits are not as difficult as you think. You might already have them and not be aware it is your ticket to having as much influence as Oprah. And while you might not achieve her level of success at a snap of your finger, a little bit of this and that from her life experience can give you the ability to influence millions of people. So here are nine traits that have made Oprah Winfrey so powerful. Resilience. Being able to get over hard times quickly is one trait that has built Oprah's powerful status. Just looking at how far she has come, it is hard to remember she came from a background of absolute nothing. A background that might be far worse than you have experienced. The talk show host grew up with her grandmother for the first six years of her life. And they were so poor, Oprah had to wear dresses made from potato sacks, for which she was heavily mocked by other children. Living like that was enough reason for her to believe she couldn't amount to anything and would probably live a less than average life. Still, her resilient nature took her far beyond what she imagined. To be clear, it wasn't only her inability to afford basic things of life that could have stunted her growth. She had traumatizing experiences that were enough for her to give up. On a 1986 episode of her talk show, Oprah talked about how she was molested at the age of nine by close family members and how no one believed her. Plus, she felt betrayed when her relatives sold her story to a newspaper. You would think that was enough for her to say, I can't be great, but her resilience has brought her this far. She graduated from East Nashville High School with honors, and at the age of 17, Oprah won the Miss Black Tennessee beauty pageant. By 1984, Winfrey moved to Chicago to host WLS-TV's low-rated 30 Minutes morning talk show, which became so popular that it was renamed The Oprah Winfrey Show and received one-hour broadcast. All these and more from a little girl in a sack potato dress. She never gave up despite her circumstance, and you shouldn't too. No matter where you are coming from, whether it is better or worse than Oprah's past, let resilience be part of your nature, and you are on the way to commanding authority. Thinking big. Your mindset is an important factor if you must become as successful and powerful as Oprah. After all, as a man thinks in his heart, so he is. For instance, if you think big with the right amount of work, you will definitely hit some important milestones. But if you think of yourself as small, the chances of achieving your goals are very slim. Oprah is a big thinker. She doesn't just think of how she can achieve her goals, she also thinks of the best ways to do it. Imagine hosting a show that nobody is interested in and making it so big it was renamed after you. Thanks to your desire to achieve the best and not settle for less. That is exactly who Oprah is. As we mentioned earlier, she also did things differently. Unlike most talk show hosts, Oprah was very generous in many ways. She gave out her time to the audience, emotions, and respect to her viewers. She was also very generous with helping the needy and encouraged her viewers to save up cents and dimes that racked up millions of dollars to send a student in each state in America to college after she was inspired by a little girl who saved up to $1,000 in cents to help people. Here is the best part. You don't always have to get your big, bright idea together right now. As Oprah shared in her 2013 Harvard commencement speech, she knew she wanted to have a television career when contesting for Miss Fire Prevention at 16 in Nashville, Tennessee. During the question and answer section of the contest, she was asked what she would like to be when she grows. Since all the good answers were gone, she said she would like to be a journalist and make a difference in people's life. Listen to exactly how she puts it. I had seen Barbara Walters on the Today Show that morning, so I answered, I would like to be a journalist. I would like to tell other people's stories in a way that makes a difference. And more than 25 years after, she did just that. And she hasn't stopped thinking big despite successfully hosting a show for up to 15 years. 
and keeping the ratings up. So much so that it was the highest watched TV show for years. Oprah could have continued with the show, but the television mogul was ready for the next step in her career when she created her own Oprah Winfrey Network. So if power position is your goal, be ready to think big, succeed and succeed some more. Learning from mistakes. If anyone tells you mistakes are not something powerful and successful people like Oprah experience, then you have been fed a major lie. So here is a dose of honesty for you. You will make mistakes, which is okay. The majority thing here is what you do with the mistake. Would it break you or make you? And since we are learning from Oprah, listen to what she thinks about making mistakes. Learn from every mistake because every experience, encounter, and particularly your mistakes are there to teach you and force you into being more of who you are. If you plan to take that advice, you are on the way to a position similar to that of Oprah. On her talk show, she discusses some mistakes she made in the past and how they made her feel like she was living in a hole. But she refused to let it keep her down and instead rose from it. Strong belief in herself. Today, Oprah has sat down with literally anyone who is somebody in different aspects of entertainment, politics, and even royalty. Some of them include Beyonce, Obama, Michael Jackson, and the former members of British royalty, Harry and Meghan. How? She believes strongly in herself and achieved a feat few can boast of. Despite not having many chances, she successfully became the first black woman to anchor a nightly news program at 19 in Nashville, while still in college. At the age of 32, she was already a multimillion on her way to becoming the richest black woman in the world. Her strong belief in herself enabled her to pursue her career with so much zeal and achieve exciting results. Of course, doubt would come now and then. That's pretty normal. But do you know what is better than doubt? Believing in yourself, just like Oprah did. Leading with her heart. Oprah puts her heart into whatever she finds herself doing. Her show, her business, and other enterprises she is involved in are usually very invested in connecting with people on a very sensitive, affectionate, and loving level. This is one reason so many people love her. You can just talk to her, and she gets it. She puts her heart into listening to what you have to say, making her a very good listener who isn't just there to entertain, but to hear you out too. This is a trait you should definitely have because power and influence are gotten from around you. And while you might get it by force, a better way would be to receive it because people want to give it to you out of respect, love, understanding, and affection they have received from you. And this is something Oprah is really good at. This is not difficult to verify. Everyone knows you better bring tissues if you're going to be watching Oprah's show because there will be tears. And that kind of genuine emotional experience can only be gotten from someone with a genuine heart that delivers true and inspirational stories to her viewers. Humor. As much as Oprah can make her viewers sob, she also ensures a good hearty laugh. This lightens the mood and makes her guest and viewer more comfortable. At the same time, it builds trust. Basically, she is an enjoyable person because of the freedom to express oneself and have a good laugh. So you better not be overly serious at all times. There should be a point where you throw in some jokes for a nice laugh. Just make sure it is appropriate. Influence. Oprah uses her platform to promote various habits, people, and lifestyles. Sometimes you would hear her mention a book that she has read and want her viewers to check out, which they do. She also has the ability to command the interest of people and get them to do things they have never tried before. How is she able to achieve this? She always makes her audience feel like she is one of them despite her level of success. She is not interested in being at the top alone, but wants them to be just as successful. So she encourages them to follow patterns that are similar to hers because it worked for her. Of course, it takes time to get to her level of influence, but you can start by affecting positive changes on the people around you. Trust in your own ideas. Oprah possesses top-notch creativity. She is such an original thinker, spontaneous with her ideas, bold, bright, and quick to execute her plans. She continues to think outside the box and isn't afraid to try things differently. According to her, I know who I am, and the thing about power for me is that it's connected to a source that's obviously greater than myself. Anytime you can connect to the source and understand that there's where all of your energy, your creativity, your joy, and your triumph come from, I consider that to be authentic power. It shows that she is not only creative, but even more, she trusts her ideas. 
Did you know that we have thousands of thoughts a day? So the secret is basically to pick one idea that is original, which may sound stupid or risky in the beginning, but with trust and belief in it, it can become something great. Willingness to forgive. Forgiveness is hard for many people, and it is even harder when you are in a position of influence, where you can easily take revenge on the ones who hurt you. But by Oprah's standard is trying to be a better person each day. Forgiveness is a trait you can acquire. Once you do that, you are one step closer to your inner peace. Oprah felt abandoned when her mom sent her away to live with other relatives. But despite the complicated relationship between her and her mother, without the love and closeness she would have liked to receive from her mother, Oprah was ready to let go of that pain and forgive her mother, understanding that she might not have been able to offer anything more. Lots of people would have told you to give that baby away, and you didn't do that. And I know that was hard, and I want you to know that no matter what, I know that you always did the best you knew how to do. We can all agree that this woman is extraordinary, but what makes her extraordinary is not being born extremely rich or beautiful, but making decisions based on a very strong mindset showing that your mindset is definitely something you should work on if you want to become a better person. Also, traits like being resilient and believing in yourself can be used even at the smallest occasions. So next time you ask your boss for a raise or you pitch that fabulous idea, ask yourself, what would Oprah do? So which one of them do you already have? And which one are you working on? Tell us in the comments section and don't hesitate to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.